So this here is a short presentation on my project, which um, tests the effect that fertilizer has on plant growth. The reason for doing my pro um, project is really when I was researching, I learned more about um, the importance of crop productivity and how um, food is becoming a limiting factor and how really as a society, we're trying to remove the limiting factor label attached onto food. And we're trying to you know, increase the um, growth of an abundance of these plants. And basically a lot of research has been going on and I really want to test different factors that affected plant growth. These are my materials and methods. So actually my project is testing once again the effect that plant fertilizer has on growth. And in doing so, I made a hypothesis that the plants placed in soil will actually grow more than those placed in fertilizer simply because um, the contents in soil are more natural than the um, synthetic ones in um, fertilizer. So here is actually um, the fertilizer or potting soil, which is really encompassed of both soil and fertilizer. Here is um, the container that I used for measuring. I used 50 milliliters of water for both my experimental and control group. And I also use um, one fourth liters of fertilizer and soil for an experimental group and one fourth liters of just soil for my um, control group. And this really is to uh, maintain the um, uh, consistency and remove out any extra extraneous variables. So this year is um, green. This year is special uh, light that I use on um, days where the sun isn't shining and um, the sun, the plants. Here is the soil which I use for my control group, and that's used to provide statistical analysis for my. And this was the. Um, and here's actually the array that I used for my trial. So 57 cells were filled for the experimental. 57 were cells were filled for the control group. Um, these were filled with radish seeds, and this is the type of seeds that I use. And so, of course, um, some were filled with both fertilizer and soil, while others were filled with just um, soil. And here are the radish seeds that I use. Um, 14 out of 57. And also, um, the plant's um, rate here is about 0 0.65 inches um, tall placed in the soil. One's um, 2.8 inches, sorry, larger than those ones placed in just the um, control group. Seven, and these ones are approximately um, 0 0.97 inches tall in uh, the control. So my hypothesis wasn't supported as I thought, and really I'll go into that more in a little bit. But here is basically my experimental group on my left and my control group on my right, and as can be seen, there's obviously more abundancy in the fertilizer than the ones that place in the soil. And there are obviously the ones in the fertilizer have had a significant growth increase in comparison to those um, placed with um, next to the ones in the soil. So basically, um, once again, my experiment, my, um, my hypothesis wasn't supported. And when I looked into more research about this, I really found out why. And the reason was that because if you want to find out really what about fertilizer makes a plant grow, it's really about the contents. It has it has phosphate, nitrogen, and potassium, and these components are not are not what the plant gets from the environment. And so, um, basically, what this is that is the reason why the fertilizer is actually able to grow more. It had these components, even though they're synthetic, they're nutrients that were important for um, the actual growing of the plant. And so um, the, so the ones with soil did lack that. So this is a visual representation. Here is um, my data table. Um, also the measurements were taken each consecutive day. And really, um, this is it. This is it for my project. And these results absolutely don't stand on their own. They stand with um, many of the other experiments, similar experiments that I've, um, uh, that I've seen was, um, with plant growth, especially ones regarding um, um, plant growth regarding um, experiments about plant growth would show that, you know, too much of these elements will also um, not allow all the plants to grow, which could clearly be seen in my project since although um, in the end result I had for after I averaged both the two trials, I had about um, 47 out of 57 um, plants grow. And that's that's a pretty significant amount compared to the control. So that not all of them grew because you know some were placed with too much fertilizer, which of course affected its rate. 
Um, that's my website. Please check it out, and I hope you enjoy this video.